Hello friends, my name is Jasmine, I'm an illustrator, and my husband finally left for work, so now we can get down to business. Jonathan's birthday is going to be next week, and he had told me a while back that he wanted another tiki painting for his birthday. The only problem with that is that we've been in lockdown for about two months, so I literally haven't had a chance to paint this without him being in the same room. But now that the lockdown is sort of lifting, he's been having to go to his office for a few hours every day now. So I only have a few hours today, and I don't think I'll be able to finish his painting. I have to be extra sneaky about it. <sighs> so let's get started. First things first, we need a canvas. So I've been collecting pieces of cardboard for several years now, so we're gonna pick out which one would be suitable for him. That will also fit a frame. Now these are all really long. I don't know if they're gonna work. This one might work, although it's awfully big, intimidatingly big. But if we were to cut that top portion off and leave it to me to make my life harder. Anyways, let's grab our paints. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. We need to be as discreet as possible. Sorry for the glare. So this is the tiki painting that I made for Jonathan a few years ago. He basically wanted something similar like this with an ape as the main character. So what we're gonna do today is gonna be similar to this. I feel like I'm getting ahead of myself because I don't actually know what it is I'm painting. So I should probably draw some thumbnails. Tiki paintings, there are several subject matters, themes, types of characters popular in tiki paintings. That would be Polynesian elements like actual tikis, Southeast Asian and Polynesian huts, and most definitely the tropical drinks. I should probably explain why it is that I've been struggling with this piece, and it's partly because tiki paintings have very specific subject and settings and some of those settings are sort of problematic because it is based on an actual Polynesian indigenous culture. So there's that part to navigate of trying to make art pieces that aren't offensive or appropriative. Appropriative? Appropriative? And the other much less serious challenge is the aspect of just composition wise, they're kind of difficult to arrange in a painting. For example, a lot of tiki culture is based on tiki bars and to paint just a general bar scene is challenging. The, the main element of a bar is obviously the bar, a long horizontal plane, and trying to present that long horizontal plane on an art piece is one of the biggest challenges. Horizontal things in an illustration kill the movement and action in the piece, and sometimes you want that, but it is a difficult thing to maneuver in an art piece, especially when you're making multiple tiki bar illustrations. Like once you've done one, there's really not that many other angles you can play around with to mix things up. It's you're you're kind of stuck with a very specific angle on the bar. Now, some artists might not find this a problem. Drawing the same angle on a bar is perfectly fine. And honestly, it is perfectly fine because you can mix things up by the characters, the colors, the setting, like there's lots of things to do it. But for some reason, for myself, I find it difficult to repeat compositions. So for this particular challenge, I either just draw the same exact angle of the bar with a different type of chimp character and their friends, or I just try to avoid it like I usually do and design an entirely new tiki scene. So that's where I'm at. I have to redraw things over and over again because the problem with traditional paints is there's no control Z. Once you put the paint down, that's it. Especially with acrylics on cardboard, you don't have a lot of layers to work with. So you can't paint over your mistakes too many times. So you have to be really sure of what you're putting down. So I hope that explains my hesitancy that has 
played this piece for many many months like I should have done this piece a while ago but I'm really just avoiding this challenge I got one main idea down I would feel more comfortable to just be able to spit out a couple more and see how that goes We're all set up, so let's go get some tea. So I was able to draw a few different ideas, but really not as many as I would have liked to. So we're probably just gonna stick to the first idea. Two chimpanzees in a tiki bar setting in the middle of the jungle in the evening. That's all I got. <laughs> we're gonna do pumpkin tea. I know, not very tiki. finished on the right side but I'm sensing that something is still off with the composition. Now from what I remember about composition you don't want a symmetrical composition. That is why I was thinking well why not a diagonal one where all the information is on one corner but it doesn't seem to be working like that. My eye is actually seeing it as this even though this is going to be dark. So I definitely feel like there is something missing here. I just had an idea that instead of having this be empty jungle space, why not add a second little hut right here? What that is going to do with the rule of thirds, it's gonna have three big masses of information and it'll be a lot more balanced than just having this and this be there. So I really don't like this section right here. I think also the perspective might be a little off, although I did put the horizon line here and had the vanishing point here, so technically this does kind of make sense. I'm not sure why this is not sparking joy. I guess we're gonna have to sleep on this. Good morning! It is the next day and we're gonna continue this, but we're gonna finish it. I'm still nervous! I always get really nervous when I'm painting traditionally. It gives me so much anxiety. John is gonna be gone almost all day because of work, so we're gonna do the best in finishing this thing and leaving no evidence that it ever happened. Also, I call this look Miami Beach Vacation. It's 1.30. Jonathan said he would be leaving work at 4. So I only have like 
three hours. How am I feeling about this painting? So far, pretty good, surprisingly. I definitely need a break, but we don't have time for breaks, so what's a shortcut for a break? Probably something sugary, so I'm gonna go look through the kitchen for a quick snack, and then we'll get back to work. Yeah. All right, we got panettone bread and dried seaweed. I think that'll hold us up for a couple hours. early you guys I'm not gonna be able to finish this oh 30 minutes so I should probably clean everything right now and then oh, I still have to do their faces and all the little details like I'm screwed I might have to end up having to tell them yikes let's clean this up and just damn it So I had to transfer this to this easel because it's clearly not going to fit in this Victorian vanity. <laughs> we're almost done. I wanted to add one more layer of color and then we're going to add the details and the whites of the flowers and then we're going to do one more round of details with colored pencils. We should be good. I just called Jonathan and told him he's not allowed in the bedroom. He asked me why, and I told him it is strictly confidential. I'm not sitting on the most comfortable Victorian chair, but I will say the lighting is really good. Now, this is probably the best spot for painting, so it's not too, too bad.
Well, this didn't turn out quite like the disaster I thought it would be. Jonathan loved the piece and is currently in search of a bamboo frame for it. If you found this video entertaining enough, give it a like and do subscribe to my channel if you enjoy watching art-related adventures. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!